Top 10 Scariest Mythical Filipino Monsters. Now, before we start, it should be mentioned that this video was requested by quite a lot of our Filipino viewers. So, we've kept your requests, and we'd like to thank all the regular viewers for your continuous support and love. So, the Philippines is an archipelago in Southeast Asia of more than 7,000 islands located between the Philippine Sea and the South China Sea at the very eastern edge of Asia. Over a hundred ethnic groups, a mixture of foreign influences, and a fusion of culture and arts have enhanced the uniqueness of the Filipino identity and the wonder that is the Philippines. However, did you know that beyond the scenic beaches of this country lies a land which is home to many mythical creatures and monsters? Now, there are more than 140 ethnic groups in the Philippines, and each ethnic group has their own unique set of belief systems which includes belief in various mythical creatures. Due to this, there have been around 500 recorded different mythical creatures in Philippine mythology, each belonging to specific belief systems of certain ethnic people. And today, we've compiled a list of 10 such mythical monsters, and also these are the scariest ones out there. So, you've been warned. Now let's get started. Number 10. Aswan Probably the most common of Filipino monsters, since there are so many different kinds, the Aswangs are generally shapeshifters, who are human by day, and then at night turn into a dog, a pig, a bat, a cat, snake, it could be any animal actually, depending on the regional lore. Aswangs are believed to break into funeral homes and steal recent corpses, and are known to enter the homes to drink human blood and can turn people into Aswang by tricking the human to bite them in return. Now, does this ring any bells or is it just us? Does this sound pretty familiar to the pop culture vampire fantasies? Well, vampiric creatures have appeared in almost every culture, so we're not surprising of hearing one from the Philippines as well. Now, coming back to the Aswang, they're especially hungry for human fetus. So, some of the more suspicious stories include neighborhood patrols set up in front of homes of pregnant women to protect her from wandering stray animals in case they're as Wong in disguise. Number 9. Matruculin Matruculin is one of many Filipino creatures who attack pregnant women. Now, we're only two monsters in, and I can already see a pattern of how these beings are believed to be associated with pregnant women. Some adaptations of the story suggest that this particular creature first impregnates a virgin before coming back later to kill the woman and eat the fetus, although other stories say that both the mother and baby are eaten. Some stories also claim that the woman is not a virgin but rather married and already pregnant, but that's a discussion for another topic since we're only focusing on the matriculant today. Number 8. Capre What's scarier than secondhand smoke and the increased risk of getting cancer? Seeing that smoke come from a capre. Capre are mostly depicted as hairy giants with glowing eyes and a cigar that never burns out. They can usually be found sitting atop of trees waiting for nightfall to scare naughty children who stay out of their homes late at night. The capre is pretty unique even among Filipino monsters because, unlike most of the other monsters, he doesn't steal fetuses, eat people, or cut them up. The capre simply enjoys scaring children. Some stories claim that they're actually very friendly beings who can grant wishes if you find their magical white stone. One can assume a capre is nearby when trees sway while there's no breeze or you see a faint smoke from high above, probably from the capre's cigar. Number 7. Duende – Goblin, Elf, Dwarf Duende are tiny human-like creatures that live underground. Now, there are two main types of duende, the duende puti, who are supposedly kind creatures who bring about good luck, and the duende atim, who are mean folk that like to play pranks on humans. They generally keep to themselves and only interact with humans when their homes are disturbed. Duende become scary only if someone will destroy their home and punish the culprit with a myriad of ailments, such as swelling or vomiting. Hence the phrase tabi tabi po is usually used to pay respect to their presence. Number 6. Tianic 
The Tianic or demon babies are mythical creatures that imitate the form of a newborn baby. It's similar to sirens of the Greek mythology that lures its prey with its voice. To attract unwary travelers, it cries like a newborn child, and when picked up, it reverts to its original form and attacks the victim. The Tianic is depicted to abduct children and makes travelers lose their way. Other stories claim that the person eventually finds a baby in the middle of the woods. When it's picked up, the baby then shapeshifts into a monster with large, sharp teeth. It then eats the person and transforms back to a baby to await its next victim. With either version, the story ends with, and was never found again. Now that's scary. Number 5. Sigmund Depending on region and storyteller, the Sigmund resembles either a hornless goat, a reptilian crow, or something vaguely along the lines of a chupacabra. The Sigmund is said to come out at night to suck the blood of victims from their shadows. It's said to walk backwards with its head lowered between its hind legs and to have the ability to become invisible to other creatures, especially humans. It resembles a hornless goat but has very large ears which it can clap like a pair of hands, and a long flexible tail that can be used as a whip. Most stories and sightings originate from the Cebu region. Number 4. Tikbalang Tikbalang, demon horse, is described as a mythical being that has a horse's head and the body of a human, but with the feet of a horse. They're believed to lurk in the mountains and forest of the Philippines. In northern regions, the Tikbalang is considered a nuisance but generally harmless. They enjoy disorienting weary travelers and making them imagine things that don't exist. The stories of Tikbalang from southern regions paint the creature as a much more sinister monster. He has glowing red eyes, a large cigar, and smells of the stench of burning hair. When angered, which he does easily, the Tikbalang will stamp you to death. Number 3. Kumakatok In the middle of the night, a knock will sound on the door and outside are three hooded figures. One, a pretty young woman, and two elderly men. The Kumakatok, the tag-along term which is knock, is said to be a group of three robed figures believed by many in the Philippines to knock on doors in the middle of the night. Legend has it that a visit from them is an omen that someone in the family will soon die. There are no paintings or hangings that can keep them at bay. Leaving the door unanswered doesn't help either. They simply knock and leave, and then someone would still die shortly thereafter. Residences of Luzon and Visayas at one time painted white crosses on their doors to ward off the Kumakatuk. Number 2. Betibet So the second scariest monster from the land of the Philippines is the Betibet. This mythical creature is a vengeful demon and it's blamed as the cause of the fatal nocturnal disease known as Bangungat. A Batibat takes the form of a huge, old, fat woman that resides in trees. They usually come in contact with humans when the tree that they reside in is filled and made into a support post for a house. This causes them to migrate into holes found in the post. The Batibat forbids humans from sleeping near its post. When a person does sleep near it, the Batibat transforms into its true form and attacks that person. It sits upon the chest of its victim until he suffocates. Number 1. Mananangual The Mananangual is the most famous variation of the Aswang that the term can almost be used interchangeably. Half pair of normal lady legs and half winged flying nightmare fodder. The Mananangual is possibly one of the scariest monsters in Filipino culture as it actively hunts for food and looks fearsome. It has a taste for the hearts of the unborn, but it's been portrayed, especially in movies, to hunt and feed on adults. These creatures generally take on the form of a beautiful woman with large leathery bat wings. The lower half of her body takes root to the ground while the upper part detaches as she flies in search of food. The Mananangual is another monster similar to a vampiric entity, although a few more notches malevolent and scarier, and takes the top spot in our list today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to keep watching more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon. And until next time, stay indoors and stay safe.